All right, folks, again, we are gonna try to finish this piece off. Um, there's a couple things I noticed about the background. I do think the background um, is kind of weird in uh, composition, like the horizon being right in the middle. Um, it looks kind of funky, so I'm, I'm gonna play with it a little bit to see um, if I squash or stretch it, like what might look better. Um, I actually think like as I'm going up and down, it might look okay as is, or maybe if I squeeze everything down a little bit. And that the, basically the horizon line though is where our eyes are. So I think if the horizon is a little bit lower, that might look a little bit better composition wise. Yeah, I think, or we can move the whole thing down. Move the whole thing down a little bit. Maybe stretch it a little bit. Yeah, I think that looks better. Um, yeah, we'll go with that. Stretch this out a little bit. And then add some more to the sky layer over here. I'm gonna take that soft airbrush and brush the rest of that sky in. So what we're gonna try to do today is we're gonna try to finish this off. Um, you know, I don't have a uh, whole lot of time. So we're gonna try to take anything left uh, that needs to be like adjusted in this piece. Bring up the orange a little bit more too. Okay, so I think the background kind of looks good as it is. Um, might play with some of the contours a little bit more, but I think it looks okay. We get the idea. So I'm just gonna go into her color layer here and just see fix anything that might be like really glaring. Take my Opus Color Blush brush, I mean. And then I know that the tail is supposed to have some texture. So it is this scaly texture as it goes from purple to pink. So let's let's do that. Let's take some time on that part. I'm gonna take the pink and I'm gonna have the I'm gonna work the purple and pink into each other. I guess I well didn't mean to color over the hand there. some more of that purple put it over here do the same thing just kind of play with the the transition area and that pink put little pieces in there and take that purple and Let's put some spots. Okay, and the feathery texture of the tail, um, it's pretty simple. So I'll just take this color. Um, well, let's add some lighting to the tail first. So I'm gonna take maybe a color like that. Put a quick highlight on the edge. Maybe let's take an orange. Let's take this pink now. Let me get a little darkness. 
darkness in there, a little shadow. You might guys, you guys might be able to tell I'm a little bit tired. And I don't necessarily have a topic of discussion right now, besides the fact that I'm trying to just finish this thing. I've learned a number of things while during this process. This process of making this piece was a little bit scatterbrained. It took a little bit longer than it should have, but um, I think like this level of completion, I think, is pretty good for just taking into account what how much I'm being paid. So I think this is okay. Maybe a silver color here for that little thing. With a little white highlight in it. Yeah, highlight right there. Get a, a strong highlight here on the edge of the hat. Yeah. Again, another orange highlight. Yellowish here on the edges of the wings. Here on the side of the wings. Kind of places it in the scene when I use the sun as a highlight, light source. Is there any texture on the wings? Just as a little bit of a gradient. Um, okay, so let's see. I'm gonna take this maybe airbrush. You know what I need to do actually? I'm gonna do um, another clipping mask here. I'm gonna turn this into an overlay layer. This is how I can change the color of like um, a larger section without uh, reducing the, yeah, it was something like this. I didn't actually know how to explain it very well, so I'm just gonna do it. In fact, I might do an overlay pass kind of over the whole thing. That might be good actually. Yeah, that might be good. I'm gonna try like, um, like a purplish overlay in the cool cool colors in the cool color yeah like a little bit of a gradient that yeah that looks nice in the shadow area um, maybe an orange and yellow for this side yeah I think that looks good. If I merge this down, I wonder though. Merge down. Yeah, if I merge it down, um, it messes up the layer beneath. So I'm gonna keep that there. I like have everything have everything in minimal layers, but I think for this one, uh, we'll go with that. But we'll get rid of that for now, so that I can figure out the purse colors. Now we went for pink. This pink's a little bit strong. I think I went with that because... Yeah. I went with it because... Um, it blended in too much with the... Uh, wings, but I do want to desaturate it a little bit. Yeah, I mean, this is not really hitting any sunlight from this angle, maybe a little bit, 
So I'm not sure where, if, if I would put a highlight, if at all. Maybe it's just right there, a little bit right here in the edges. Very close, folks. Very close. Yeah, I, for this piece, I can't really get to a, a very obsessive level of completion, which which is what I tend to do. So I'm going to tell myself, you know, let's call it done. Um, I'm going to save a couple versions of it. Um, one, one with the background, one with uh, maybe a white background, maybe one with a transparent background, so that the um, commissioner has a couple options of which pieces to use. Okay, one thing bothering me is like the ang the way the light is hitting the face. Is it gonna be a smooth edge like that? How far how far in does the light go? Is it a hard edge? It shouldn't be a hard edge, I think. Try to keep it a smooth smooth edge like that. Soft edge. Is that right? I think that's okay. Yeah, same thing with the arm. I mean, we're gonna try to soften the edge. Soften the edge. Oh yeah, that helps a lot. Wow, I've never done, I've never really done this before, but it makes it makes it look right. Erase a little piece right there. Oh, is that in the lower layer? Yeah. Okay. Okay, are we done? Do I want a soft edge around the leg? Yeah, we can soften it a little bit. And then we'll bring back the overlay layer. Yeah. This is, this is, I think this is close enough. Is there anything really bothered? I think that those, this greenery in the back is bothering me a little bit, but we'll kind of go in there and maybe just paint in some greens and greenery. I was watching some Bob Ross yesterday, and it's always inspiring to see what he does. He really is the GOAT content creator of art. His production quality is really good, even compared to, like, modern-day YouTubers and Twitch streamers. Like, he has good editing, um, great music, his skill is very high, um, personality is, like, off the charts, you know, it, it, it's just really inspiring. Um... It gives me something to pursue, you know, like what, as a YouTuber, I think, you know, how can I improve on these videos? Um, and I, I don't really have a concrete idea of what it should look like. But when I see Bob Ross, I'm like, okay, he reminded me why he's the goat. He is, he is the goat. Like there is, I can't think of any other art content creator with that kind of legacy, with that kind of, um, I don't want to say skill because there's plenty of people with like high level of skill, but you know, with that kind of uh, personality, um, being so iconic, you know, that with that level of consistency, like so many seasons. So it's just, it's just really great. the lines converge a little bit let's kind of 
blend this area here too. Okay, I think the buildings could be a bit darker. So I'm gonna turn on the alpha lock here. I can always, I can never turn it on. I know it's supposed to be, there it is. <laughs> Two fingers swipe to the right, but it, it, it fails a lot for me. I think I should airbrush this actually. Airbrush, let's go dark, desaturated blue. That might be too dark here. Let's use our trusty eyedropper. Airbrush these guys a little bit darker. I think as it gets closer to the sun though, we will use some atmospheric perspective and kind of blend those guys into the into the sun a little bit. Yeah. Here we get a little bit more blue, a little more saturation. Okay. Now also we continue to shape these buildings. Get my little cityscape in there. Okay, zooming out. That looks okay. That looks good. Anything really glaring. I know I'm going to bite myself later and be like, oh my gosh, I made a mistake. But we're, we're, we're pretty much there. Maybe a little bit of shading in the sandals. Yeah, the feet in general kind of look a little bit messy. Don't need to go super detailed, just want to make sure things are in the right place. I think this will be it, guys. Yeah. I think that's it. That's good. That's pretty good. A little bit of shadow in here. Yeah, I could go in and like... Oh, there. That's pretty bad. Hold on. Yep, the purple got blended in too much there. That's what happens when I only use one layer. Okay, that's good. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, we'll call it. We'll send this over and uh, see what he thinks. Okay, talk to you guys soon. God bless. Bye-bye.